So Brian calls me up and tells me he needs me to meet him. And just sends me an address. Doesn't tell me why. So I'm on my way to hook up with him real quick and see what he's got going on. Brian took me to a Volkswagen. Brian, why am I at a Volkswagen dealership? Because this might be going away. What? What do you mean? So basically, the situation I'm in right now, I got something coming. Basically, need to, uh, I want to have money to be able to put into that. So something's got to give. So I'm looking to. So wait, you have two things coming? Yes. Okay. It's a, it's a difficult situation. So wait, what's this? What's this other car though that's coming? I don't want to tell you too much about it yet, but it's a uh, it's Come another on. BMW. Come on. Come on, what is it? It's what is another it? BMW. Um, is it another one of these? No, I didn't think so. It's okay. older. All right, all right, all right. I don't want to give guy, too guy, much guy, away. Guy, you know what I mean? Right. So why are we at a Volkswagen dealership? Oh, well, because I love German cars and BMWs are too expensive. Audis are also expensive and uh, Volkswagen. I've had Volkswagens, grew up loving so you're gonna Volkswagens. Have, but, but you're going to have two cars, so instead of, you know, Instead of having, having this, I can get the same amount of type luxury for about half the price. Right. Okay. So okay. that's why Volkswagen. What's that? Oh, he's spotted me. <gasps> it's in my favorite color. That is the exact. Really? 19. They're out of their freaking minds. It's got 19, basically 20,000 miles on it. That car, brand new. Assuming it's not one of the higher end models, is only 35 to 40. And they're trying to sell that one for 35 with 20,000 miles on it. Fuck out of here. So just so you guys know, I'm not always like. Super pro German cars. I was actually looking at a 04 Subi on Craigslist, and that's the guy I never got back to me. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah. So SDI or just WRX? WRX? Blue. Okay. Bug Eye. I kind of like the Bug Eye to retro look, man. <gasps> no, man. Yeah. I like the, the blob. Well, I prefer the, the Bug blob. Eyes. The Bug Eyes, I think they're like. They're classic WRX. Yes. I know, I know, I know. And it was that classic WRX blue, too. Right, the World Rally blue, yeah. I know. So you wanted a white facade with black leather interior? Payment. The payment. <laughs> I got you. So, like... This car's been sitting for a while. Yeah, it says over there. So, like, the S, right? And then the SE, right? Yeah. This is the SEL with the... Right, see, this is, this is nice. This, this is, is the SEL, yeah. This is beautiful, right? I love it, right? I don't want that. <laughs> to be able to afford more. I'm here. Yeah? Yeah. Lower payments. That's what I'm looking for. That's why I'm here today. Lower payments. And I love German cars, so I want to stay with German cars. I've had Jettas. I bought a car here before. So let's take this out for a ride. So this is the SE. Correct. 1.8 turbo. Right? Yes. Okay. Did you have cup holders in? I got cup holders in the 550, but mine are illuminated. Oh, yeah, that's all right. Really annoying. If I pull up somewhere or whatever, I put it in the park, I get out of the car and I go to get into the back seat to get something out, I can't get in. So this one, oh, uh, see? So why doesn't it unlock all the doors? Ha ha, you hit it twice. Ha ha, you hit it twice. We're going for a test drive. Yeah. Did you give the guy my key or whatever to go look yeah, at the car? Right. Yeah, he's a... Uh, right. Just in here. It's inside. Let me put the uh, the frosters on. Frosters. 
defrosters. Right, I guess that's... Does this slide up? I think this no? front thing slides up. You don't get that luxury in a BMW. The r I'm not even kidding you, and I know it's like, it's not stereotypical of me at all, but think that. Yeah, test it out. Oh. It definitely doesn't feel as heavy as the other car because that's all-wheel drive, and obviously this is front-wheel drive. All these controls on the steering wheel here, even though my car has them, um, too. Um, I put the seat in the position that I sit in, mm -hmm. jumped in the back seat, more room. Let's go. I'm going to give her beans. So, Brad, what do you think? <sighs> It'll do, man. I mean, I'm not obviously as passionate about it as I am about the, the, the 550, but... I mean, come on, the 550 is a 550. Right, but... The only thing I feel like, honestly, besides the way that it drives, I feel like the all-wheel drive might be heavier and might get rid of that feeling. I'm not even joking it. It's comfortable. It's easy to drive. It's got a lot of options in it. I was surprised at, at the pickup, actually. Yeah. This had some, three people had some in power. It, three grown ass men yeah. in it. Yeah. No, it felt um, pretty good. You can get chips for these that are, you know, 400 bucks. I mean, you're talking. That you can't just drive a car, can you? But I mean, like, I haven't done anything to the. The Q60 yet? There's yeah. a lot out there after parking for that car. There's a, chunk, a decent chunk. Is there as much as there is as a BMW or a Volkswagen? For a, wait, I'm sorry, for a Passat? For a Volkswagen, it doesn't matter. All right, all right, I'm not having, I'm not having stuff. this argument. Shut the hell up. Other than that, I'm not even joking here. The difference is not that much. Hey, forget that it's a third of the power as the BMW. It looks way better than this. I like it. It really needs to be cleaned Yeah, it needs to be washed. He's going to go negotiate this deal, and we'll let you know what happens afterward. See you in a minute. And, uh, what happened, bro? Worked some numbers out, and looks like I'm taking the car home today, the Passat. He did a thing with the thing, and got the thing. Never did a full review of it. I'll do a full review right now. It's really fucking fast. It's really nice looking, and now it's gone. 